So if you're anything like me, you're using ChatGPT for, well, pretty much everything, but you've probably also slammed right into its limits, right? Well, Google's rolling out some brand new AI tools, Gemini 3.0 and VO 3.1, and they claim to fix these exact frustrations. So today, we're gonna figure out if Google is just playing catch up or if this is actually a legit game changer. Let's find out. We have all been there. You're deep in a project, you ask your AI for help, and bam, you hit a wall. It just can't handle the complexity, or it totally forgets what you talked about two prompts ago, or it has no idea what you're seeing in your design files. You know, those are the boundaries we're all getting kind of tired of bumping into. And this right here is the key. Google isn't just trying to build another chatbot. It feels like they've really looked at where we get stuck, the real workflow problems, and they've built Gemini and Veo to solve those. Think of them less as a chat partner and more like a, a deeply integrated co-pilot for your work. Okay, so first up, let's talk about Gemini 3.0. The best way to think about this thing isn't just as another AI model, but as this incredibly powerful assistant that's built for your messy, complex, multi-step projects, you know, from start to finish. So what really makes Gemini different? I mean, most AI is pretty good with text, right? But Gemini is truly multimodal. It can look at your code, a screenshot of your design from Figma, and a massive project brief all at the same time it actually gets how a tiny change in the code is gonna affect the design and how both of those things relate back to that document. That is where it starts to get really, really powerful. And here is the engine behind all that power. One million. That is the token context window for Gemini 3.0 Pro. Now just think of tokens as little pieces of information, a word, a little bit of code, whatever. A bigger window just means the AI can hold way more in its memory at once. So what does a 1 million token window really mean for you? It means Gemini can read your entire thesis or a huge sprawling code base, and it won't forget what was on page one by the time it gets to page 400. That massive memory means total continuity. Plus, and this is huge, it plugs right into your Google stuff, so it can pull context from your Drive and Gmail to give you suggestions based on the work you're actually doing. Okay, here's a super practical example of how that all works for, say, a designer. You can just paste in your HTML and CSS code and then upload a screenshot of your design from Figma. Gemini then looks at both, it literally sees the differences, and it gives you the exact fixes to make your code match that design perfectly. And it's the quality of the feedback that's so wild. It doesn't just spit out some corrected code and call it a day. No, it explains why the original code was wrong, pointing out things like accessibility issues or weird configurations. It's honestly like having your favorite senior developer looking over your shoulder, ready to do a code review 24 seven. All right, let's switch gears and talk about the creative side with Veo 3.1. This is Google's new AI video generator. And look, this isn't just some minor update. This is a pretty massive leap in quality that really tries to solve some of our biggest headaches with AI video. I mean, let's be real, we've all seen them. The AI video tools that promise these epic cinematic masterpieces, but what you get is, you know, a janky, glitchy five second clip where the main character's face changes three times. It's been a little disappointing to say the least. Veo is built to fix exactly that stuff. We're talking about genuinely cinematic 1080p video clips that are actually longer and stay consistent from the first frame to the last. And maybe best of all, the audio is integrated and actually makes sense for the scene you're trying to create. And this right here is what turns Veo from a fun novelty into a serious professional tool. You get real control. The reference to video feature, for example, lets you upload an image of a character so they stay consistent from shot to shot. And get this, with post-generation editing, you can actually go in and remove or add objects after the video has already been made. That level of flexibility is something we just haven't seen before. So, what's the bottom line here? What does this all mean for you? Well, it's really not about throwing out the tools you already love. It's about figuring out where these new, super specialized tools fit in. It's about giving your AI toolkit a serious, serious upgrade. So really, it just comes down to using the right tool for the right job. Gemini is gonna be your go-to for those hairy, complex coding problems, for analyzing super long documents, or for anything that lives deep inside your Google workspace. And Vio, well, that's gonna be your secret weapon for prototyping video ideas fast, creating really high quality social clips, or even generating marketing stuff that used to need a whole production team. Look, these tools really are a big step forward. They offer deeper context, way higher quality, and so much more control for both creative and technical work. They're not just about chatting with an AI anymore. 
They're about doing things with it. So with these new powers in your toolkit, really, the only question left is, what are you going to build first?